Hi everyone, welcome again in the next lesson of this day where we are um, launching already uh, launch our face Facebook campaign. We already published it, right? Um, now, guys, in this video, I would like to be share with you my some tips tricks I usually use, and definitely that will be help you out. In the last video, as I mentioned, you uh, what you need to do is to run your campaign well. You need to be create um, more than one ads with the same product. Means you need to be create some variations of the products change the image do not need to be changed the text but yes you can change the image you can change little bit headings and all this stuff so that it's in a human psychology so that they will be see your ads again and again in different ads so they will be really attractive if you show your add one ad again and again your dream audience can get frustrated so show them some different different and how you can use it you do not need to be create again and again the all new ads so it's a great tips and tricks you can duplicate it if you're on the screen guys for example last day we created this ad you remember c1 image accounting we write the old text we write the all headlines we publish it right so it's in the review at the moment but what you can do is if you want to be change uh, if you want to be create a new ad just to change the image you do not need to be created what you can do is you need to be click it do not go for duplicate if you go for the duplicate here right they will be ask you which campaign which headset i will be go through with it but the good option is for you is quick duplicate quick duplicate means facebook will duplicate this ad in the same ad sets which you are in right now how i can do it guys i need to be duplicated so i will be duplicate this one once it's duplicating they will be again ask you the name so you can change the name right for example um keep everything same so let's say this is your second ad third ad fourth ad as i have lots of i put the ninth ad you can put that second ad right dot image dot accounting right so same thing keep it everything same right same you do not need to do anything right same primary text because you do cannot change the primary text uh, you can change it but do not recommend you already have some variations if you do not have variation that's fine um, text is fine but you can highly recommend this one is you can change the image and how you can do it guys you do not need to be go for edit you need to be remove it first thing once it's removed they will be ask you again that image so add a new image right once you click the add image the same ask you again same thing that which image would you like to be selected or published uh, if you already have the image in your pc go for the upload upload it or if you have the image in the um, accounts image then you can do it for example i'm going to use this image right that's the congrats one so i select that one once i select that one i need to be just next to it and that will be crop automatically original face um next or you can keep it simple or if you want to be go for allow announcement do that otherwise do not need to be do you can go through with this all things um you can write it i never do it i sometimes i do sometimes not uh, but it will be adjust automatically all right you will be see now this image has been uh uh you can see the preview in the right side uh, has been done so what you need to do is you just need to check everything is fine uh, if you want to do some changes you can do that it's all up to you uh, but highly recommend to create a variations of that change the image that's the human psychology if your dream audience see the different images it will be very easy for you to capture them right so um Keep everything same if you have just put the display name and the rst.co.nz and you can see it here um this uh, myoben zero training above of that in the rst.co.nz otherwise it will be take it automatically facebook will be take it automatically so once you're done click the hit the publish button or will be good to go right this is the first step or if you want to be go for um i'm just going to close it because i don't want to be do it i just want to close this one or discard it um but how you can do that i'll show you uh it's in the in draft at the moment but i want to delete that one 
guys uh, one thing make sure that just click this one sometime uh, other people have the ads and uh, they have checked click on other uh, box as well they will also be deleted so make sure that it should be delete right so i click that one come come here and i will be delete this ad or i will be discard this ad draft it's all up to you which one is good to go you can use it it's been deleted right so this is the tips now the other option which i will be going to use is that the duplicate guys now if i click that one what they will be asked to me is which campaign which ad set you want to be if in case you want to use this ad for the another ad set or in different campaign this is the great option for you you got it by point guys for example you want to use the same ad for the different campaign your goal can be changed right so you do not need to be create again again you can use that option it's good for you for how you can do that select a campaign it's an original campaign if you want to be keeping the same campaign you need to be select if not then you can click the existing campaign which campaign you want to be go with that you can select it here the, the, the old campaigns you will be see it here um which campaign you want to be selected you can select it for example i want to be uh add this one into this campaign i would be select this one right existing ad set so you can check you will be see the old ad sets which is in this campaign right which is selected so i do not need to be go for the webinar but uh, this is an example right so ad set you can go for any ad set for example i put this one right accounting that's fine if you want to create a new ad you can if not of course the existing ad which is of uh, existing ad sets which is already there you can create the ad set new ad set if you want to create a new ad set under this campaign right so this existing campaign so this is the thing once you duplicate it there will be duplicate ad into that ad set and you can go and change the all information i hope that will be help you out um guys this is the most important thing show existing reaction comment the share on the new ads which means facebook allows you the comments share likes you already got it in your previous ad which you are going to duplicate that will be keep remain same right if you want to be go for the fresh you don't want to be see any comments any uh, likes any shares on it you can untick this option and facebook will be start from the starting stage there will be a no comment no share no likes on it but i highly recommend keep the comments same keep the uh, uh, likes share same because people see those that who have likes share comments they stop it and they see everything what's going on here so this is my tips and tricks i would like to be share with you so keep it same do not need to be changed anything that will be really helpful for you i hope the video help you out to do duplicate and to create more ads uh variation of the ads in the same ad set or if you want to be go for another campaign another ad set you can play around it that will be yours guys play around it that will you will be learn a lots of things you will not be lose anything you will be learn a lots of thing now in the next video i will be show you how you can link your instagram account so that you can run your ads on instagram as well and you will be get a lots of result from there i hope that will be help you out guys see you in the next lesson thank you so much